as Hurricane Henry and Homicide Hank, the legendary Henry Armstrong was born on December 12, 1912, to a sharecropper father of African American, Irish, and Indian descent, who was also named Henry, and a mother named America, who is half Cherokee and half black. In the fabled cultural history of prize fighting, Armstrong is revered by experts and fans alike. The legendary boxing trainer of Floyd Patterson and Mike Tyson, Custom Motto, described Henry Armstrong as follows, quote, Constant attack, no let up, moving his head with a good defense. That's what Armstrong would do, break his opponent's will, destroy his spirit, making all his causes a fucking lie, end quote. A complex young man, Armstrong would regularly fight in the streets, but he also read an original poem at his high school graduation. At 18 years old, Armstrong quit his job on the Missouri Pacific Railroad and made his professional debut on July 28, 1931, when he was knocked out inside of three rounds. Rather than being discouraged by this initial setback, Armstrong kept swinging. Taking a fight four days later, he won a six-round decision. Committed to his vocation in 1932, Armstrong moved to Los Angeles to pursue a pugilistic path. Fighting under the name Melody Jackson, by 1936, he split his time between Los Angeles, Mexico City, and St. Louis. And in 1937, Armstrong became the world featherweight champion by defeating P.D. Saran at Madison Square Garden. At this time, Armstrong started a line of 27 consecutive knockouts that remains one of the longest streaks in boxing history. In 1938, Armstrong defeated the great Barney Ross to become welterweight champion. After which, he lost weight and won the world lightweight champion from Lou Ambers in a tough fight where the referee warned Armstrong he would stop the fight if he spit out any more blood. In response, Armstrong's corner removed his mouthpiece for the last five rounds so he could swallow the blood flowing profusely out of his mouth. After blacking out in the 15th round, Armstrong became the first boxer in history to hold world championships in three separate weight classes. Armstrong fell short of becoming a four-division title holder when he fought a draw to the middleweight champion, the great Philippine boxer, Seferino Garcia. In 1945, Armstrong hung up the gloves, retiring with a record of 152 wins, 21 losses, and 9 draws. He had an amazing 101 knockouts. Using his early nickname as an inspiration, Armstrong briefly opened a Harlem nightclub called the Melody Room. However, it was in retirement that Armstrong had one more fight, a battle against alcoholism. Walking away from the bottle and toward the pulpit, Armstrong became an ordained Baptist minister in 1951 and established the Henry Armstrong Youth Foundation. After his death, it was discovered that Armstrong's heart was a third larger than average. For those lucky enough to see him do battle in the ring, this was no surprise. For, some, for more of these old stories, this history of physical culture, click subscribe.